be more mature at uh, entering into service. And here we have decided to integrate our customer in our uh, development team. We've created an airline office. We have representative of some airline customer who wanted to join us. And this is a very important uh, uh, asset for us. And for our customers, it increased the level of trust. It increased also the level of uh, adequation between the customer priorities and our priorities in the testing of our systems and in what the customers actually want to see when uh, comes the time for entry into service. So anticipation of these uh, uh, operations for the customer is, uh, is uh, also part of what we try to do differently and do differently in order to be better prepared. And last, uh, last point is, of course, industrial maturity, and this I'm being pressed by the, by the time, so I have, I have to accelerate again. Uh, that's, that's good, because it's uh, precisely what it is about, humping up the production, industrial maturity. So last, uh, last year, our objective was really to have the rich partner entering their first component into the into the pre-final assembly line, and this was the, the, the big journey that uh, we lived uh, all, all throughout the second half of last year. Now, uh, we, in all the pre files there is more than one component, sometimes one has already gone out. And this is, uh, of course, an asset, but we've taken the lessons, and I think that uh, in the way we monitor the performance of the supply chain with the new tools that we have developed, we had previously normal surveillance uh, tools, uh, how we uh, make the surveillance of our supply chain, uh, how we monitor their progress. This was already very much an existing process, and we still use it, for, uh, especially for uh, uh, suppliers for which the level of challenge uh, for the SP50 is similar to the one of the previous program. But on top, we have added two, uh, two tools. One is the joint improvement plan. This is very much how can we work better together. It's a structural approach which looks at everything uh, from the uh, program management down to the supply chain management, the tier two supply chain management. And uh, we have also had it for those suppliers who we, where we believe that there is more to be done. We have added a new tool which is a transformation plan. And here we are coaching the supplier to help them transforming themselves. For instance, should they should they need really a, a new uh, ERP system, for instance, uh, then we would uh, help them uh, to define their, their own needs. Uh, and uh, this is very much a transformation plan, which can go uh, like it, it was the case for PFW to uh, a partial uh, take of control of the company for some time until the transformation has actually been uh, made. So I think with this tool, we should be able to anticipate the, the uh, the challenges going forward, and uh, the challenges going forward are, are f to enable the industrial ramp uh, It's all about quality of engineering, quality of uh, design, it's all about readiness of our factories, and it's all about discipline. How can we manage and how, how can we be strict in the management of the travel work, the outstanding work, the out of sequence work? I don't know what. To, what uh, term uh, is, is, most, is, is best appropriate, I would say that out of sequence work is the most explicit one. This is something that because of some delays you have to do in, uh, uh, in a way that is not the nominal way, not in the plant that we are forcing to be done. So these, uh, these, these three topics, uh, I think in terms of uh, quality of the drawing, we are uh, quite pleased uh, with what we have and certainly the uh, it has enabled us to progress very fast in the, in the manufacturing uh, process for structural assembly. And today, uh, and this is a best said one, uh, knows fuselage in Saint Nazaire. You can see it's, uh, it's, uh, it's very well advanced. The equipment that we started uh, at the end of last year is very well advanced. This is just one deck, the cockpit. And you can see all the harnesses and equipment are already in there. And, and uh, this is. Uh, very, uh, very good, and the same, uh, the same, uh, just behind on the section 1314, the level of equipment that was made in Hamburg uh, is uh, is extremely uh, was extremely good, and uh, I would say that Hamburg and uh, Saint Nazaire work very well together 
to uh, make sure that uh, the, these two sections that need to be joined up before joining the fan, the nose, the very nose, and the, and the forward fuselage come together and then uh, uh, will arrive in the final assembly line. We uh, plan to have then uh, end of June or in July. It will be a question of decision finally of uh, the level of readiness. We will make the decision in due time, but this is the ballpark where we are uh, having. And uh, to support these operations and to mature further uh, our uh, installation, system installation process and check the, uh, the, ma the maturity of this uh, process, again uh, we come back to the DMU having uh, the full consistency of, of technical and manufacturing data in the, in the DMU, in fact enable us on the shop floor to use the DMU tool and the real hardware uh, together in a strong synergy, and you have developed this uh, Mira tool, mixed reality application tool, developed with the EADS innovation work, in, in order to be able to superimpose the DMU with the real world. And this enables us when, uh, to control if all the brackets that should be there are actually there. And this is a very, very uh, important breakthrough that uh, has accelerated our system installation maturity. Here is, the, is, here is the wing. Uh, wing uh, from structural assembly has also a big challenge. It's, uh, it's, a, brand new, uh, it's a brand new assembly uh, system that we have uh, developed in Mouton, uh, which is uh, very much automated and it's a flat build uh, to enable uh, a high level of automation in the drilling process. And, uh, well, maybe uh, I have still a couple of minutes, but uh, I will show you a, a small, uh, a small video uh, to uh, to show what this uh, this is going to be. Uh, I have I have to admit that uh, the video has been slightly accelerated uh, because the, because of the time of this presentation. Uh, the reality, I must say, is uh, it's at the beginning of and for MSN one. It's slower than we thought it, it would be at the very beginning because it's a kind of mise au point phase. And today the, the, the wing uh, progress is a little bit handicapped by, by this machine. But going forward for the production, it will be a huge asset because when we have uh, fully uh, established this uh, process, jigs, and, uh, and fully supported it uh, with uh, all the programming that goes behind, then we will be able to achieve the rate that is uh, necessary for this, uh, for this uh, program. So that's uh, complex machinery that's necessary for the long term. The problem of an aircraft program is that you can't have the first aircraft unless you have put in place all those means that are uh, delivering much later, in fact, their benefits, but you have to have them for the first aircraft because there is no other way. Uh, otherwise to mature your development process. So that's uh, one of the challenges uh, we have and uh, just to complete the, 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 the tour of, uh, of MSN1, and this is the HTP in Retafe in Madrid. Uh, this is very uh, close to achievement. HTP again for MSN1 uh, will uh, arrive in the final assembly line in in June or in July, we'll decide exactly, but it's almost uh, ready to ship and I could have shown the same of the vertical tape plane. In fact, uh, we have, uh, with the S350, uh, for the first time, strongly harmonized all the process, build process of the vertical tape plane and the horizontal tape plane uh, between uh, uh, Spain and Germany uh, through an integrated approach and a common center of excellence. And this is delivering also the, the benefit for MSN1 already, but even more going forward. So now, uh, next uh, is uh, for, uh, for the final assembly line you saw yesterday. Uh, the next uh, thing it will be to, to, uh, to have uh, MSN1, to start MSN1, prepare MSN1 for the, for the uh, next uh, phase, which is the first flight, actually. And of course, the obsession uh, for us is to avoid this. We don't want this to happen. We don't want to have one year after the start of the final assembly line of MSN1 uh, too many people working uh, around. And uh, the key to this is to only uh, bring the sections in the final assembly line when they are ready, when they are equipped, when they have been tested, so that then you 
you always need support, there is always a need for uh, more uh, uh, for more and for uh, some uh, retrofit probably, that's development aircraft, but we have to limit this to what is not, for, not expectable, not foreseeable, not to something that is just too late. So that's uh, the challenge going forward. Uh, we'll see how we manage, uh, we'll see how we go. The program <coughs> objectives are still very challenging. You know, two years before the entry into service, one year before the first flight, this is where, where we are in, in gross terms. And this is uh, a big challenge still. Uh, we have a lot of innovation to face in all areas, I mentioned them. Uh, we have, I think, a good track on the system engine. Uh, I think we've kept uh, some strong relationship with our suppliers, uh, even through the difficulties. Uh, but, uh, of course, it's still, uh, it's still a big program. And uh, when uh, I'm asked, uh, okay, are you confident in the planning? I, I can only say, I think it's feasible, but it's tight. It's tight for sure. And uh, we will have uh, further challenges. We try to prepare as much as we can, we try to prepare with our customers as well, and uh, hopefully this will uh, pave a way for uh, in due time uh, for entry into service. That goes well, but we'll see. And uh, I wanted just to give you uh, an update. Yesterday you saw it, you saw the section, uh, the, this uh, static test uh, aircraft in the final assembly line, uh, station 15. This morning, uh, the, it was sunny, so we thought it would uh, deserve a, a sun bath, and then uh, it will enter the station 40 uh, very quickly uh, to get to the next step of its assembly. So this is uh, uh, a proof of uh, progress, but uh, much more to be done, and uh, I am uh, very conscious of uh, the challenges going forward. Thank you for your attention.